Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to unroot your Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL using the factory images that are provided from Google. To get started, if you're wanting to unroot your phone or go back to stock, or you want to downgrade to a previous version of Android, or if you even want to sell your phone, this video should help you out quite well. But if you're looking to update your phone, you can probably have a look at some of my other updating videos instead, as the process is a little bit shorter and doesn't involve, you know, wiping your device or anything like that. So I'll leave a link to that in the more info down below, or you can have a look at it in the top right hand corner. Now once we've gotten that out of the way, there are a few requirements that we need to pass in order to do this. First up, you'll need a computer, any computer. It can run Windows, Mac, or a flavor of Linux. Next up, you'll need that USB cable that plugs into your computer. It could be Type-C to Type-C or Type-A to Type-C. And of course, we need some time and patience. This process can take roughly 20 minutes in total. Uh, it could be less if you're fast. Uh, excluding download times. You're also going to need a brain to work with. Hopefully we all have one of those. And of course you'll need an unlocked bootloader. Otherwise, I'm not sure why you're here. You could just do a factory reset. And last but not least, you'll need the fastboot device drivers already configured. Now, if you've rooted your phone before on the com same computer, then you probably don't need to do this. If you're also on Mac or Linux, you don't need to install any device drivers. Now, I do have a video on installing this on Windows. So you can go ahead and check that out also in the more info and we can get started pretty much now. So the first thing you want to do when doing this is to back up your stuff. Now your photos, videos, uh, apps, they're all going to be gone by the end of this video if you do follow through. So make sure you take them all off, copy them to your computer, upload them to Google Drive and make sure your Google Photos are all there as well. And the contacts are very important as well. Once you've sorted that out, you want to go ahead and remove your Google account and this is only really for people who are selling their devices, just so you don't get your buyer into a bit of a pickle with the factory reset protection. So I'll be showing you how to do that uh, right now. So we're going to have to go to our device here. And all you have to do is go into the settings and then go over to, uh, let's see, users and accounts. And then you can see your Google account and just tap on it and then tap on remove account. Tap on remove account again to confirm device protection may not work anymore and that's fine just uh, put in your patent or fingerprint and your Google account shall be removed uh, you might get a few crashes along the way but that's fine once you've done that you're pretty much ready to go now this video will provide two methods of resetting your device or flashing the factory images but of course both of them start off with the downloads and we need to download the latest version of the SDK platform tools for your operating system just download it here using one of the three blue links now this is uh, pretty much just programs that allow our computer to talk with our phone in its various states. So we're going to be using this to flash those images using Fastboot. So just click on the download link, agree to the terms and conditions, and then click on the blue download button. Once you've done that, I'm just going to put everything into an Android folder. Keep it nice and simple. And next up, you want to download the latest factory image for either the Pixel 2 XL or the Pixel 2. So select the one that is right for your device and I've just downloaded the OPM2 G1 build as I'm not on T-Mobile. But if you're on T-Mobile, you want to download the one that's right for you. So just have a read of what the description is and then you should be able to figure it out. So I've just downloaded the G1 version of this and that's all we need to download pretty much. Providing you've got your drivers installed already, we can go ahead and just extract the platform tools. So we're gonna open up the zip file here and if you've already used the platform tools somewhere along the way, you can just reuse the same ones. But just keep in mind that there are updates that come out to the platform tools. So if things aren't working properly, or you're not on version 28, then you probably want to download the new ones as well. What we're going to do here is open up the platform tools folder inside the zip file. And from there, we're going to extract the ADB EXE, the two ADB DLLs underneath, the fastboot.exe, the libwin pthread-1 DLL, and all the make two FS or F2FS EXEs and configuration files. So we have about eight files, I think. We just extract those eight items outside into our Android folder, just like that. And we can close our platform tools zip file here. Next up, we want to open up the factory image that we want to flash. So we're just going to open that up, go into that folder. And all we need to do is essentially extract the image, the bootloader and radio images like that, and drag them outside just like that. Once we've got that extracted, here's where we can split off into two methods. I'll have both of them timestamped down below. 
And the first one is a one-sided or kind of a quick flash. Now this is if you're not really concerned about you know, what the active slot is, it doesn't really matter to you, and you just want to go back to stock Android, and maybe you don't want to uh, fully lock the bootloader as well. So basically we flash the images to our primary slot, and then we let it do the rest pretty much. So we only do one side. And, but if you're looking for something that fully returns your device like you got it out of the box, then we have another method for that, and that is in fact a two-sided flash, and it's only slightly less quicker, if you can say that. You just repeat one command and that's it. But this one is probably good if you're unsure of uh, which slot you're on or which slot you want to be on, although it doesn't really matter. But this is to pretty much get your device back to how it was when you got it out of the box. So with that being said, we're going to start with method 1 right now. And what we want to do to get started is to reboot your phone into the bootloader. To do that, it's quite simple. Just plug in your device using the USB cable, press and hold the power button and tap on restart. And as soon as the screen goes black or it freezes, press the volume down button and hold it. So I'm going to hold it right now. And we're going to boot into the bootloader very soon. Now it might take a few moments here. Just keep holding the volume down button until you see this green Android fellow. And that means you're in the bootloader. So you can see down here it says my current boot slot is B. We're going to refer to this as our active slot. So your active slot may be B or A. And there may be a few changes that you need to do when typing out the commands. So once your phone is in the bootloader, just go over back to our computer here and we want to open up a command prompt window. You can do this by typing in in the address bar, cmd, and then hitting enter, and that'll bring up a command prompt window for you. So first things first, we want to check if our device is connected in the fastboot mode properly. So to do that, we're going to type in fastboot devices, and once your device, or once fastboot returns your device's serial number over here, we can uh, pretty much go ahead and start flashing the items here. So as usual, this is quite similar to our update videos. We're going to be typing in, or we're going to be flashing the bootloader image first. So we type in fastboot, flash bootloader, leave a space after the bootloader and drag in the bootloader image, hit enter. And you can see that will be updating our bootloader B partition. So this will flash our active one. We can need to flash the other side of this now the same thing, but we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader to do that. So we type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader, hit enter, and our phone should go back into the bootloader, like so. Once that's there, we can type in the next command where we flash the bootloader image to the other slot. So we type in fastboot flash bootloader, and you can do underscore A in my case if your active slot is B, or you could do underscore B if your active slot is A. Otherwise, you can let the device handle it, and where you can type in underscore other. If that doesn't work, then you need to go back to specifying the boot slot, or the slot you want to flash to directly. But if you type in bootloader underscore other, leave a space at the end, and drag in the bootloader image, this should flash it to our other bootloader partition. Alright, so we need to reboot back into the bootloader once more. So we'll type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and flash the radio image, and that's going to be the same deal. So we're going to type in fastboot, flash radio, leave a space after that, drag in our radio image, and then we're going to reboot into the bootloader once more. You can press the up arrow key on your keyboard to go to previous commands. And once our phone is back in the bootloader, we're going to flash the radio other. Type in fastboot, flash radio, underscore other, leave a space after that, and then drag in the radio image hit enter and once that's okay we can go ahead and start flashing the normal stuff. We'll reboot into the bootloader once more. Okay so this is where we're going to use the fastboot update command and we're going to add a few extra flags to it so we can uh, do this quite smoothly. So we're going to be booting into the stock recovery anyways to wipe our device regardless of what flags we use. So we're going to use the fastboot update command with the skip reboot flag. So we're going to type in fastboot, double dash, skip double, uh, dash, reboot, and then type the update, leave a space after that, and drag in our image zip file here. Drag it into the command prompt and hit enter. And that'll do all its checks, and then we'll start extracting all the images to our disk on our computer, and then flash them to our device. Okay, now once that's done, we can go ahead and wipe our device from here. This is pretty much the end of method one. 
Now if you want to relock the bootloader, you can stick around to the very end. Otherwise, I'll be going to the recovery mode on our phone. So just use the volume buttons to change the selection to recovery mode, and then press the power button, and our phone should reboot into a screen that just says no command. After this, you can see our bootloader is still unlocked. That's fine, we're going to be relocking that once we verify that our phone turns on properly. Okay, now that it says no command, we can hold the power button and tap on volume up, and that will bring us the recovery menu, like so. From here, all you have to do, if I just zoom in, is use the same volume buttons to navigate to, let's see, wipe data slash factory reset, and then hit the power button to confirm it, and then confirm it once more, and you can see at the bottom it'll start wiping out data, and once that's done, you can pretty much boot into Android, and from there, your phone should be wiped and on stock Android. You can select Reboot to System Now, the very top option, but now I'm going to be showing you guys method number two. So now on to method two. This is um, pretty similar to what we've just done, except we're going to do it uh, regardless of what slot we're on. So what we're going to do here is go back to our command prompt window. I'm just going to clear it right now. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to check if our device is connected first. We're going to type in fastboot devices. And once our serial number is there, we can uh, go ahead and flash the bootloader image. So we're going to go ahead and flash the bootloader to slot A. Now it doesn't matter what boot slot you're currently on right now. We're going to be setting that to A afterwards. So we're going to type in fastboot flash bootloader underscore A, leave a space after that and drag in the bootloader image. Once we've done that, we're going to flash the same bootloader to our B slot. So I'm going to reboot our phone into the bootloader of course once more. We'll type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader. And once our phone is back into the bootloader, we're going to flash the same bootloader image. So we'll type in fastboot flash bootloader underscore B. So yeah, the same bootloader image to our B slot. When you hit enter on that, that's good. We're going to reboot back into the bootloader once more. Next up, we're going to flash the radio image to slot A. So I'm going to type in fastboot flash radio underscore A. Leave a space after that and drag in our radio image. Once we've done that, we're going to reboot back into the bootloader once more. And then we're going to flash the radio B uh, slot. So I'm going to type in fastboot flash radio underscore B. Leave a space after that and drag in our radio image. Once we're done, we're going to reboot into the bootloader once more, and we're going to do our updating. Now before we get started flashing the system images using the fastboot update command, we're going to set our current slot to B, so the one we have as our other slot. So we're going to type in fastboot double dash set dash active equals B, like so, and then we're going to reboot our phone into the bootloader once more to, to have this take effect. We're going to type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader, hit enter. Once our phone is in the bootloader, we're going to be using the update command to flash the images to B. So we'll type in fastboot, double dash skip, dash reboot, and then we also want to do double dash, and then type in skip, dash secondary. And then type in update afterwards, and leave a space after update, and drag in the image zip file. Now this is going to flash all the images to our B slot, and it won't flash the system underscore the system other image to our A slot because we want to have all our images on the B slot uh, stock and then we also want to go back to our A slot and do the same thing but we're going to flash the secondary to the B slot like that. So we'll just wait for all the images to flash here and then we'll get working on the other side. Okay once that's done we're going to set our active slot to A. I'm going to do it the same way when it's happening fastboot double dash set dash active equals A and then we're going to reboot our phone uh, back into the bootloader so we're going to type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader and once we've booted up we're going to now flash the image zip just as usual and we'll type in fastboot double dash skip dash reboot type in update and then drag in our image zip file here press enter
Alrighty, now once you've done that, we're pretty much ready to go. So we're going to go back to our phone here, and from there, we're going to go into the stock recovery and wipe our device. So just use the volume buttons here to navigate to recovery mode, and then press the power button on the side there, and wait for our phone to boot. Again, we're going to hold the power button and then press the volume up button to activate the menu. And from that menu, we're just going to do a wipe data factory reset down below. And to confirm it once more, and our phone should start wiping the data. Once it's finished that, uh, we're pretty much just going to boot into Android. And that concludes pretty much all our methods here. So we're going to tap on reboot system now, and our phone should boot into stock Android. Okay, so our phone's turned on successfully, and we'll just verify that everything works. Uh, you can yeah, try to connect to your Wi-Fi network, just make some phone calls, just do regular things like that if you're setting up your device. Uh, but I'm going to skip all this, and basically, we're going to go ahead and relock the bootloader. Now, you only want to do this if you really want to kind of get your device back to stock. Um, this is also necessary if you want to pass safety net. And it's not necessary if you just want to flash stock Android and you don't really care about passing safety net or if you plan on rebooting your phone in the future or right after this. So you don't have to relock the bootloader, but if you're interested in selling it, then you want to probably relock the bootloader. There are custom kernels out there that allow you to pass safety net with an unlocked bootloader. So if you're interested in keeping the unlocked bootloader but also passing safety net, then you can go ahead and flash one of those as well. But we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader right now, and we're going to relock the bootloader. So once again, just do this once you verify that your phone works uh, quite all right. So again, I'm just going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader. I'm going to hold the volume down button now, and just wait for it to go into that. Once it's in the bootloader, relocking the bootloader is very, very easy. So again, we're just going to verify that our device is connected properly. Type in fastboot devices. Okay. And once we've done that, all we need to do is type in fastboot flashing block. Hit enter. And then we have a screen on our device that says, if you lock the bootloader, you can't install custom operating system software on this phone. To prevent unauthorized access to your personal data, locking the bootloader will also delete all personal data on your phone. So here we have the options to lock the bootloader or do not. I'm going to use the volume buttons to select it and then press on power button. Press the power button once it says lock bootloader to confirm your selection and your phone will erase itself once more and your bootloader should be locked. So right now there's an absence of a padlock which means our device has locked its bootloader. And you can probably also see on the command prompt here we have an OK and finished. So pretty much you wait for your device to boot back into Android, and from there you'll have a perfectly locked device restored to the latest version of Android. Now that's about it for this video guys. If you liked it, uh, feel free to leave a thumbs up somewhere. And also if you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave that down below. And of course, I'd like to invite you to my Discord server, where if you want to chat about things Android or technology, or if you're looking for some help from one of my videos, or just in general, Feel free to join that in the link below as well. And as always, happy flashing.